YouTube family, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. This is a bit of a relaxed video I'm on my bed. I'm chilling out and I have some thoughts that I need to just get out. So I thought, let me just start recording. Today I'm talking about narcissist and financial abuse, okay? Financial abuse when the narcissist actually has money, who's actually the breadwinner. Keep watching this video and I'm gonna get on to when you're the one that's being financially abused, okay? You can't actually tell that we're being abused. And here's why. Because, you know, online that we talk about, the man's meant to provide, or you can go 50-50, or whatever the situation is, right? Whatever your beliefs are, that's your beliefs. I'm not here to tell you what's right and what's wrong. Whatever works for you, works for you, okay? So when this person, this toxic person, is, you know paying for everything initially because we want a guy to provide you know that's the whole thing you know the the husband especially if you're married is meant to provide meant to provide for the children provide for you especially if you're a stay-at-home mom you know you don't go out and make your own money so you're expecting for that man to look after you okay when it comes to financial abuse and the narcissist you don't even know you're being abused okay because it seems like you know that they're looking after you if they start to pull back a bit and all of a sudden, they're not giving you basics. Kids need clothes or whatnot, and um, can you send some money? And they refuse to do so. I see that as financial abuse because that's to deal with the children, okay? This is not you saying, I want to get my hair done, I want to get my nails done, or I want to buy an expensive handbag. You know, if the guy says no to that, then that's in his right to say no, okay? To buy an expensive luxury handbag. But when certain basics are not met, and that's because maybe you didn't sleep with them, or maybe you had an argument, or maybe they're giving you the silent treatment, that's financial abuse, okay? Um, and people don't really talk about financial abuse when the narcissist has money. We always talk about financial abuse when you're the one that has all the money and you're the one that's paying for everything, which I will get onto. Keep watching this video, and I'm going to get onto when you're the one that's being financially abused but, okay the way you know the way it can happen so let's just say that the narcissist is the breadwinner and you have kids and you break up you keep you caught them cheating you know you break up um and you put boundaries down you know they can't come to your house they can't sleep with you they can't whatever okay so they're not benefiting anymore from giving you money to look after your children even though you share children okay even though that's his child too they're not going to give you any money. They're going to say things like, get a job. They're not willing to give the child the best quality life possible. They want you to suffer. So that means the kid's going to suffer too, okay? I'm talking about men who have the means, who actually could pay for that child to live, and that mother does not have to go to work. I'm talking about that kind of person, okay? He's not going to do that. He's going to say that you're a gold digger, you're this, you're that. And the way that these narcissists will financially abuse you, if they have the money and you have children together, they're going to buy the children ridiculous things like expensive gifts. You know, if you are co-parenting with the, with the narc, they're going to take the ch children out and spend hundreds of pounds in one day on the child. And bear in mind, they're not going to give you nothing. You know, they're not going to give you a penny to actually look after the child. And when I mean a money to look after the child I mean pay for bills pay for travel pay for you know school uniform all that kind of thing they're not going to help you out with that all right they're not going to help you out because that's financial abuse but the way they get away with it is because they're buying expensive gifts shoes the stuff for the kids how can it be financially how can it be financial abuse if he's buying things for the kid? This is why it gets very confusing. And even the victim doesn't even know that they're being financially abused because they're still looking after the child by spending lots of money, which also turns that child into a narcissist when they grow up. Yes, spoiling the child does do that. So he's actually trying to turn the child into a narcissist in the disguise of them being good parents okay if you were good parents you would give that mother the means to look after the child it could be a thing where you actually pay the bill you can pay the electric bill you can buy the groceries you don't always have to be putting money into that mother's hand if you don't trust that woman but there's still no excuse not to help out the mother but like i said before by the narcissist still 
purchasing expensive gifts for that narc, for, for the child, which turns that child into a narc, they get away with financially abusing you. And only you will be the one that understands that this is financial abuse. And if you try to tell anyone, even your family members, they'll be like, how is it financial abuse if he just bought the kid all these expensive items he just spent 500 quid on you know all these shoes and clothes for the kid there's no financial abuse here you know get over the relationship get over yourself no it's financial abuse so when we're talking about financial abuse okay i've been through it myself okay they live in your house rent free you know they tell you you know i get paid next week ne next month next year next tax return and i'm gonna help you with uh, you know water electric rent they don't do that your bills rack up your bills rack up okay that man or that woman ain't got money for their bills send them home back to their mum send them to a cousin's house send them to a family's house and let them foot the bill because you'll be paying for the bill and then they're gonna go cheat betray you leave you find the woman or the man they really want and you'll be left with that bill and you'll be out here looking bitter screaming oh it's financial abuse and people are gonna be looking at you like you're an idiot but they don't understand stand that they say next week next month this that and the other if and this is why it's very scary you know if you've got money it's very very scary to even get married to even be in relationship because you just feel like is it really love or do you know or you know do they actually want to be married to me but you have to be careful you know there's one lady that I had on Instagram she kept flaunting her money how much money she's got all her designer and now she's about to get married to this guy that she's met long distance this that and the other where I'm going with that is that that man probably saw that you had money you're flaunting your money on Instagram and he knows that you're begging to get married you know all your kids are grown up you're 50 plus yeah you're you're desperate to get married and he's going to marry you okay and 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 tell you all the things you want to hear to get in your pockets. You have to be careful, okay? Um, you know, a lot of the time it happens to men, but a lot more women, especially a lot more black women these days, are becoming millionaires, are doing being very successful in their businesses. And these men are taking these women money. And I'm gonna have another video talking about um mary j blige and that whole situation because honey that is a whole mess and i have to comment on that but financial abuse they will sleep on your sofa they're not going to pay no bills and it makes it worse they won't cook they won't clean and they want you to treat them like a king who the hell do you think you are and it is, that happens as well with women as well fair enough your man goes out he works and you don't have to work and he buys you all the things but sis at least come home with a cooked meal even if he's got maids even if he's got chefs whatever bake him a cake do him do something for your man he's paying for everything do something for your man but when i talk about narcissists and financial abuse this is what i'm talking about they can have the money and still abuse you you could be paying for everything and abuse you and financial abuse they don't have to they don't have listen they don't have to shout at you put hands on you sexually or physically abuse you to abuse you they can just do it with the finances they could just be living off you that's still abuse and we need to talk about this if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you for my next video bye